Good morning, guys. It is really warm out here. Actually, it is warmer now here, now outside, than it is in my room upstairs, which is highly confusing because normally, well, I'm the one that gets the sauna treatment. So it makes me wonder if I might get either a tornado in my room or new ice age. All jokes aside, though. I have to go to the city center now to pick up, or actually order to pick up my marriage certificates. I have to get three in total, which is about 30, 40 euros, I guess, something like that. Because uh, one goes to Germany to confirm the fact that we are married now. I need one for my visa application, which hopefully will go smooth. And one well, I will take with me to the US for probably her work and other things that we need to prove that we're married. And usually they just make a copy and they give you back the original. So that should be enough. Otherwise we have to ask for another one. And it's not really cheap, it's weird, because it's just a piece of paper with just a stamp. But I guess I don't have much choice when it comes to that. But since it's nice weather, I thought, hmm, I can just grab the bike and see what I do when I come back. Possibly visit my grandmother, because I haven't done that in a, in a week or two. Morning, guys. It's about seven-ish. I'm awake, yeah, it's a wonder. But like I mentioned before, because of the European time and so on and so on. I'm just awake earlier and I go to bed earlier, which is very cool. I mean, it's light now and at night it's dark. Well, the usual. Anyways, I was like, hmm, I don't want to go to work yet. I could and leave earlier, but I never do. I actually stay even longer. So I would be there for probably like 12 hours instead of eight. I was like, hmm, what do I do? Let's watch Extreme Weight Loss. And I was like, hey, that show takes like, whatever, two hours or one and a half hours. I might as well be at the gym while watching it. So I decided, let's put on some gym clothes and go to the gym. Because it is also raining outside. So that is not a reason, but well, I'll take it. I just posted a article on BBC News Technology. Uh, YouTube Sarah Michelle Palm sued over copyright breach. I was always wondering, because she was using popular music, so apparently she gets sued for over 50 songs she used without permission on YouTube. Anyways, she made a lot of money. She might be able to pay all the costs. I'm going to 222 because I want to, so that's about 46 minutes. So it's 8.30ish. Uh, need to shower and get to work. It's almost impossible to have not noticed that the flight that last week, I think, got shut down above Ukraine. Well, today is the official morning day here in the Netherlands. I think pretty much every single city, office, place like this is doing a, how do you say that in English? Basically like a remembrance book thing where you can write something in to family members. From a good news standpoint, I just got three wedding certificates of which I paid way too much for. It's literally six pages in total of which two per page with nothing more than a printout, a stamp and a signature from the person that works there. It better be worth it. And then that happened. Although the guys in there are right, there's no lightning or anything. It's still warm, so it's a good rain. I totally agree. So let's move that back and find our car. Where the hell did I park? Actually, it wasn't my light, it was the other car's light and it reflected mine. That is ridiculous! It looks like as if mine are on. Anyways, there are two topics I want to talk about. So, if you're crossed out easily, don't. No, <laughs> I had something growing here and it used to be really big and now it's still here, but it's disappearing. And I have some, something similar in my hand. Uh, let's see if I can point at it. Okay, my other finger points at is this thing. That used to be a bit bigger. It started growing in June. In between it was a tiny bit red and I started getting worried and then I thought of my mom's skin and she has those uh, brown um, elevated things going on. And I'm like, yeah, it's probably jeans. It's just starting. I'm getting old. And now it's disappearing, it's just moving back like this. I guess it's um, maybe because I'm happier. Maybe, I don't know why, it, it just happened and I'm really happy. On the other hand, I'm a bit worried because my belly pain has returned for a while now and it has been really strong for the wedding and everything. I assume stress related and worrying and whatever. But it hasn't gone yet, it's still there. This is also a sign, uh, I think I talked about it, it's basically a, a ovary cyst. 
and it had disappeared in December but during this year it I think returned I haven't been back to the doctors yet just pretty much the same pain not as much as before but it's there so I'm just wondering with the whole weight loss that I don't lose weight blah blah hormones blah blah sis is fucking with my system I guess I have to go back and talk to them. On the other hand, like I said, this is going back, so something is happening. Maybe the cyst is disappearing too, so you never know. I remember yesterday, I was very unhappy with the results of the frosting that I tried to make because the cake was probably a little bit too warm still, so it melted the butter, the butter started to turn into liquid sugar, basically. But I'm actually decently happy with how it turned out. It's it's not entirely hard but it's it's solidified a little bit and the cake inside is perfect actually some of the parts actually seeped in so i have now like surprise layers of complete sugar and no i should not eat as much because i had two pieces last night and i was like i think i'm good for now i think i'm good hey it's sirens testing day i normally don't hear that because i'm in the middle of the building and we can't really hear much from the outside it's so confusing in Germany we do that like every half year or once a year and here it's every, what is it, Wednesday and I think every second Monday or is it every Monday in the Netherlands or Tuesday or whatever day, I don't know. I'm going to Walmart now, I want the pictures, I hope they finally have done them and I just realized it's not raining anymore, it's actually sunny, it's getting warm. I think I actually like this working out before work because I can watch something, wake up, shower, blah, 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 and just head to work. On the other hand, around 11, I'm so hungry and I do have some food here, but not what I want to eat. So that's another reason I'm heading to Walmart getting stuff. Uh, what could I eat? Hmm, we'll see. Anyways, yeah, that's what I wanted to say, which was, I totally forgot again. See? Focus. By the way, I have to say that I'm really impressed by Dutch Home today and of course the other people who are involved with this. Because like I said this morning, flight uh, MH17 I believe from Malaysian Airlines that got shut down had victims coming in in caskets of course with two Royal Dutch Air Force uh, planes and one from an Australian uh, Air Force base probably. And it took almost two hours but it was it was really impressive to see because it was basically a group of military and marine people from Netherlands, I assume, uh, taking caskets from the planes into hearses. And the most impressive thing actually was when they started driving all at once from the airport in Eindhoven to Hilversum, which is basically like our media city. And along the highways, across the bridges that go over those uh, streets where they were driving, that they had closed off the highway all the way from Eindhoven to uh, Hilversum. There are people standing on the side of the roads, basically paying their respects, and that's an hour drive normally. It was pretty crazy to see, and I uh, really sad actually. Also, at the same time, being very wonderful. And on every news channel that I saw, like CNN, those kinds of things, people were very impressed by the fact that Dutchland did this on their own. Uh, I believe that at four, everything in the Netherlands stopped, even trains any kind of public transport, all stores, all of everything just closed down for one minute and was silent and they haven't apparently done that according to my grandmother since our previous queen queen died, if I'm correct. And that's apparently very special. So for those who lost family members, it is terrible. I hope this never happens to me personally because I wouldn't know how to handle that, especially when I lose my e for instance. And Forbid, I forbid that for ever happening, of course, but I mean, there will now be people that hopefully get more answers soon. I am excited. We have the feathers. I don't want to open them. Ah, I, feel, I feel like I should wait. I should probably go somewhere else, not in Walmart. Maybe I should just show them to Europe, but I'm so excited. I'll probably just open them now. Get some food and open them. Remember that little yellow camera? Yeah, I got the pictures back and most of them look like... Um, this black darkness you can't see anything well yeah it's not that good anyways those are the ones that are actually okay ish super grainy still i love this one this is from new york 
That's Düsseldorf when we left, Düsseldorf when we left. So technically you really need to pick the photos during bright daylight. That one is okay. This one is from Nashville, I'm pretty sure that's Nashville. And that's Heidelberg. Yes, it was on vacation, but he's back and he's holding pictures. So we will have pictures of our wedding soon. And then we will finish the books. So stay tuned and check in their places. Well, we kind of will announce it when it's happening. That's nasty. It's already so dark, it's like 9 o'clock. It's not, but it feels like... 